K&N air intake system is designed to increase vehicle power and acceleration by reducing restriction in the intake path. The 77-1561 KP air intake system is not legal for highway use in California or other states adopting California emission standards. Check knfilters.com for up-to-date information on emissions legality for specific parts on specific vehicles and for a list of other CARB adoption states. This air intake system fits 2009, 2010, and 2011 Dodge Ram 1500 pickups with a 5.7 liter engine. Refer to the k and website or catalog for latest application details. k and power testing showed an estimated power gain of 10 horsepower at 4,382 RPM with this air intake installed on a 2009 Dodge Ram 1500 pickup with a 5.7 liter engine. Actual results will vary depending on the condition of the vehicle, mileage, weather, and other variables. With the air intake installed, we ran the vehicle on the dyno to test the sound comparison versus the stock intake. The intake kit includes components which have been designed or matched to the needs of these vehicles to produce a safe horsepower increase. Detailed installation instructions are included with this kit. The tools needed for this install are shown. Turn off the ignition and disconnect the negative battery cable. Release the red locking tab and then disconnect the inlet air temperature electrical connection. Loosen the hose clamp which secures the intake tube to the throttle body. Disconnect the crankcase vent hose from the air box. Disconnect the factory intake hose from the throttle body. Lift up the air box assembly, then remove it from the vehicle. Lift up the engine cover to dislodge it from the mounting posts, then remove it from the vehicle. Disconnect the crankcase vent hose from the valve cover port. Measure 11 inches from the air filter end of the crankcase vent tube, and then trim the crankcase vent tube as shown. Install the provided silicone crankcase vent hose onto the cut end of the factory crankcase vent tube. Install the crankcase vent assembly onto the valve cover port. Reinstall the engine cover onto the mounting studs and route the crankcase vent hose through the opening. Install the provided edge trim onto the heat shield. Some trimming of the edge trim will be necessary. Install the provided filter adapter onto the heat shield and secure it with the provided hardware. Install the silicone hump hose onto the filter adapter and secure it with the provided hose clamp. Install the heat shield mounting bracket onto the heat shield using the provided hardware, but do not completely tighten at this time. Install the heat shield mounting bracket onto the heat shield using the provided hardware, but do not completely tighten at this time. Remove the front air box mounting bracket bolt. This bolt will be used in a later step. Remove the front fender mounting bolt. This bolt will also be used in a later step. Install the heat shield assembly into the vehicle and secure it with the bolts removed in steps 17 and 18. Do not completely tighten at this time. Install the provided silicone hose onto the throttle body and secure it with the provided hose clamp. Install the provided grommet into the K&N intake tube. Install the 1 quarter inch NPT vent fitting into the K&N intake tube. Remove the inlet air temperature sensor from the stock intake tube. Handle the inlet air temperature sensor with care as it is very fragile. Install the inlet air temperature sensor into the grommet installed in the K&N intake tube. Install the K&N intake tube into the silicone hump hose, then into the silicone hose at the throttle body. Align the heat shield assembly for proper fit. Tighten the heat shield mounting bolts, then tighten the hose clamps securing the intake tube. Connect the crankcase vent hose to the vent fitting installed in the k and intake tube. Some trimming of the vent hose will be necessary. Connect the provided inlet temperature sensor extension into the factory wiring harness, then connect the other end to the inlet temperature sensor. Install the k and air filter, securing it with the provided hose clamp. Reconnect the vehicle's negative battery cable. It will be necessary for all k and high flow air intake systems to be checked periodically for realignment, clearance and tightening of all connections. Failure to follow the above instructions or proper maintenance may void warranty. 
k n n makes products for nearly every vehicle on the road. The k n n website allows you to search products by vehicle or dimension, download installation instructions, view dyno chart showing estimated horsepower gains for this product, and view product details. For information on where to buy k n n products, go to knfilters.com.